the government has no intention of gagging the media. So your friends in media and the ones who are here can see this is KTN. No. Government gains nothing, totally nothing. And it is a useless job to think that the preoccupation of our government is to gag media. No! You haven't seen me threaten the media, and I will not. I want us to work together, because media is part of us. So even you as communicators pass this message to our media <coughs> houses. And what the government is asking for is not a psychophantic support from, from the media. Media should criticize us as much as they can. But media should also desist. Just like we don't want the, the media to be the extension of government, we don't want media to be the extension of the opposition. We must stop and look at themselves and become neutral arbiters. So media houses should know that. We are not as government going to gag you, wherever they are. I encourage them to come and talk to us. I have held several meetings with them. So the stereotype you hear again, that this government is an enemy of the media is not true. We would just like them to be fair, to also report about us what they don't like, in the same way they can also report what they don't like about the opposition. The communication item, there is no room for what? There is also no room for anarchy and a disorder in Kenya. We have you have seen what government is doing. The, 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 the disturbances you have been watching happen in our country will come to an end. So tell our people, there's no room for panic. There is no power vacuum. We elect our leaders. We don't impose our leaders on the people. So the panic you have had from social media, some of it being peddled by the same people who have set up the stage for the Stockholm Syndrome, does not exist. It is in their imagination. Government is in control. The president is in control with his cabinet. The country has challenges. This government came to handle those challenges. These challenges didn't start in December last year. They were there, that's why we asked the people of Kenya to give us a chance. And we have now a chance to tackle those challenges and we hope that those who don't agree with us will give us the four years, the five years that the public has given us then make judgments. And we want to compare 2018-2022 with the 2023-2027. And we shall see who has the final laugh. There is no room for anarchy. The president is in charge. Nobody, nobody I emphasize in our ministry or in government should ever criminalize the character of another because of the made choices that you don't agree with. In your State Department of Broadcasting, we'll continue to support initiatives and the partnerships like the one we have with the Media Council to improve your performance. Our government has been in power, in office, basically for only seven months. I think you know that. After the elections, we had a, a petition. Constituting government took long. 
you know that principal secretaries are accounting officers. So all the transactions involving money is the work of principal secretaries. They are also the authorized officers to do the human resource content. Your principal secretaries were sworn in on 2nd of December last year. That's when the government really started performing. But let me ask you, the people of Kenya voted for this government because there were problems. This government that you have, you see in power now, never authorized the illegal spending of public money on BBI, in terms of communication. You think that the people who took away your money through BBI will save you. That is the Stockholm Syndrome. They have come back seven months later to say they can save you and you continue with that narrative. These are questions that media should be asking. <coughs> Stockholm Syndrome. People who came into government illegally through a handshake and organized themselves to perform functions of people who are elected to perform those functions and they took them over illegally without any disregard to the constitution. No wonder they, they think you can march from Kamukunji to State House to the road. You can't say the people of Kenya bring down the cost of living by burning kiosks. You can't say you are helping the people of Kenya and they start cheering you by burning their matatus. You can't be bringing down the cost of living by invading shops that are manufacturing coffins. You can't be bringing down the cost of living by destroying and looting hardwares. When you attend meetings by such a person or persons to say you are saving Kenya and some Kenyans cheer you That is the Stockholm Syndrome. So you call a Kamukuji to destroy property to pose as a savior. Tell me how you will save Kenya when you can never buy a school, you can never build a church, you can never build a mosque. How will you save Kenya? When you burn the kiosks, selling milk, that's the only investment those people have. Tomorrow they will be on the streets. When you burn a matatu, that is a personal investment. When you enter into a, a supermarket and a loot, several people are jobless the following morning. So, don't treat our president as if he has no supporters. Don't treat the leadership of Kenya Kwanzaa as if they have no supporters. They have supporters. So, since they have supporters, Give the president maximum respect. Give his supporters maximum respect. Yes, your public communications officers feel that they are not in the room when it is necessary for them to be. We cannot give information that we do not have, and very often we do not have information. Often we are called into violence. The other issue is a very soul speaking point. The fact that um, our space is sometimes crowded by people who do not necessarily understand how the government communications 
I'm saying that because at the Media Council, what we receive mostly from government, departments, agencies and ministries is a complaint about misrepresentation, no facts and all that, isn't it? And the media says, uh, isn't it? so we need to try to establish those uh, formal channels, especially regular